Hello everybody, this lecture uh, is about financial uh, markets and institutions. Uh, it's an overview about financial markets and uh, institutions. The first point is uh, about why study financial markets. The uh, second one is uh, about why study financial uh, in institutions and we shall cover these two points in the first lecture. Uh, in the second lecture we'll deal with key points and workshop. First point is uh, about why study financial markets. Uh, financial markets include uh, bond and stock markets and foreign exchange market. Then we have three main markets. The first one is debt market. Debt markets or bond markets allow governments, corporations and, and, and individuals to borrow to uh, finance uh, activities. The second market is the stock market. The stock market is the market where common stocks or just stock representing ownership in a company are traded. Um, the third one is the foreign exchange market where international currencies trade and exchange rates are set. Um, uh, those are the three main uh, markets. Uh, we uh, we are still in the first point. Why study financial markets? Financial markets such as bond and stock market are essential in our economy as these markets channel funds from savers to investors, thereby promoting economic efficiency. The second reason is about market activity where it uh, uh, affects personal wealth, the behavior of business firms and economy as a whole. The second po point is uh, about why study financial institutions. Uh, these uh, institutions play an important role in improving the efficiency of the economy, so it's important to discuss. First, the role of central banks in conducting the monetary policy. It's a very important role in financial regulation. Uh, the uh, second point is the structure of financial system and how, how it helps get funds from savers to investors. So the, the first point is uh, about central banks and the second is, uh, uh, is uh, about the financial system. Uh, what do we mean by financial uh, uh, financial uh, system? Uh, the financial system consists of three main components. The first is financial markets. The uh, second is financial institutions, and the third is financial claims. Uh, so if uh, if we um, uh, want to describe how a financial system works, then we shall 
uh, elaborate uh, how financial claims are traded by financial uh, institutions through financial markets. Uh, again, the financial system consists of three main components, financial markets, financial institutions, and uh, financial claims, where financial claims are traded by financial institutions through financial markets. The first uh, is uh, central banks, the second is financial system, and the third point is uh, about the role of banks and other financial institutions such as insurance companies, mutual funds, pension funds. Uh, the third point is uh, about financial innovation. The role of financial innovation and the improvements in the technology and its impact on, of how financial products are delivered. Uh, the first is central banks, the second is financial system, the third is banks and other financial institutions, the fourth is financial innovations, and the fifth, which is a very important uh, topic, especially for uh, central banks. It's about managing risk in financial uh, institutions. Uh, why central banks uh, should regulate the banking system? It's due to the banking risks. So, uh, managing risk uh, in financial uh, institutions is a very important topic. We should manage, uh, we should manage uh, liquidity risk, uh, credit risk. Uh, we should uh, monitor political risk, uh, country risk. Uh, many of risks in the environment uh, could uh, affect banking system. So, uh, uh, nowadays, all of the world suffer coronavirus, and it's a risk which could uh, affect financial uh, institutions. So managing risk is a very important topic. So in this, uh, in this lecture, we covered why study financial markets and why study financial uh, uh, institutions. In the second lecture, we'll review these two points with uh, uh, key topics and a workshop. Thank you so much.